Hello vlog fam, it's been so long since I vlogged. This camera broke, but I managed to resurrect it. Something to do with the charging, like the battery, I don't think it was touching the little plate properly, so I turned the camera upside down and tried all these things, and I've managed to get it to work again, but I'm going up to Auckland today. Miss, come here. I have two friends called Brittany, so it's kind of confusing. Brett from my nail video that I did, she works at Flamingo Boutique Nails. We're going up to the Lush event, I'm bringing her as my plus one, which is very exciting. She has not left the house. I mean, she has left the house. That makes her sound so crazy. But she hasn't um, been away overnight since before she had her babies. And one of her babies is three. So I was like, girl, you need to get away. Like, you are coming with me. Capitalize on your pets. I'm just going to put on some mascara. The event's tonight, but I feel a little bit naked. Now that I don't have lash extensions anymore, I feel like I just want to put on a little bit of mascara. And then our transfer is coming to get us. I'll show you what I've packed. So here is my suitcase. Excuse that blue thing. This is all makeup that I'm dropping to Women's Refuge. But I tried to go in this week. I couldn't find a park. I tried like twice to go in. Um, but I just have all my makeup and then toiletries in here. Clutch bag. I just bought a few chokers and then I also bought some more hoops from Colette yesterday because all my hoop earrings broke. Heels that I'm wearing, which is so cool, they're from Misguided and they've got like snakes up the back. And then just jammies and a bunch of different outfit options because I have no idea what the weather is going to be like up there. We're literally going overnight. Yeah, that's not the best angle, but we're just going to deal with it. My traveling outfit for the day, I'm just wearing this denim jacket. I can't remember where I got this, it doesn't have a label. Because I thought it was from Revolve, but maybe it was like thrifted or something. Because I don't know why it doesn't have a label. It's just like a distressed denim jacket. And then I'm wearing a little crop top thing from Maru that I got ages ago. It's got like ties up on the side. And then the misguided Barbie shorts. So I have like 20 minutes till the cab comes. All I need to do is just put on this mascara. And then I might quickly make an omelette. For those of you that were interested in what I was eating, I did try a vegan diet for three months. But I've put on so much weight. I'm really upset because I did want to stick to it. Being like an animal lover and everything. Um, so yeah, definitely I think I would go back to it in the future. New Zealand is really not very ready to cater to people with vegan diets. There is not really any options for us here. Not saying that it can't be done. But I have heard from, I'm going to do my makeup like while I speak because I'm taking ages. Bare Minerals Bare Skin, I just take a tiny bit like under here. Um, I know it's kind of controversial to talk about. Some people are very dead set in their like lifestyle eating plant based which is fair enough but I don't know please. There's no space for negativity on the channel otherwise I'll just stop talking about what I'm eating. I don't actually have any friends that eat plant based. I do have one friend that's vegetarian, which she gave me some good like meal ideas and stuff, but I was vegetarian for a couple years too, so I kind of like, I don't know. It was just hard, I think, eating a lot more carbohydrates, and I've heard that you do like bulk out, and then over like a year, your body will get used to it, and you like slim down again, but it's almost summer, and it's like my birthday coming up and stuff. I know I'm like so vain, and I'm, I'm a terrible person, and you can tell me I'm a terrible person, because I do kind of feel bad, but I just want to feel like my best self and like feel really confident and happy um and I was getting really lean and being really happy like eating higher protein and stuff so I don't know it's okay I know I'm not relevant enough for like freely or something to make a video about me if you guys are wondering what I did I just take one of these little super inexpensive um it's like a piece of hair on my hand the, the BH Cosmetics brushes I just keep these like it's so good for little things like concealer and I just blended literally the tiniest bit of concealer just because the inner corner when it's dark you can look quite tired. I'm not going to bother like I've got a huge pimple there. I'm not going to worry about my actual skin. I just think when you're putting on mascara if the eye area is dark it looks a little bit funny. And again with this I'm just going to put on a tiny bit because I'm redoing my makeup later. Um, but I don't know if Brit's going to be like taking photos and stuff. I just thought and in case I meet any of you guys at the airport because sometimes they do. Pop on a little bit of mascara. But yeah, please don't hate me. I definitely gave it a good go and I would definitely try it again in the future. Maybe like in winter so I can give myself more time to adjust to it. And um, I'd love to see some more options. I think there's quite a lot of like plant-based options in the bigger cities. Like I was having to eat hot chips. <laughs> they didn't even have garden salads. Oh my gosh, my voice. 
Like salads always have like mayo or feta. A lot of people I've talked to though have said that like just you guys online or like my friends that eat vegetarian they're like it's so hard to not eat cheese or like dairy it's literally in everything especially in New Zealand it's like a dairy country in the city where I live like the biggest money maker is dairy it's like where Fonterra and stuff is dairy is literally in everything it's so stupid anyways I'm just gonna do like that much mascara it's so natural like a little bit on the bottom I don't even really want it to look like I'm wearing mascara, I just want it to look like my lashes are not see-through. I don't know if my favourites video will be up yet, but this was in my favourites. The Dior Lip Glow. It's so nice, and this one's 005 Lilac. I love this. Um, the lip liner tattoo I got is like so good. It's still, even now, a little bit darker than my natural lip colour, so I like to put on a little bit of a tinted balm. And then everything just looks matching. Look, I missed a massive patch there with my fake tan. <laughs> oh, I didn't fake tan my face either because I'm like breaking out. So I just thought, eh, I won't do it. All right, I better go quickly have some food. By the way, I did start a vlog a few days ago before my camera broke and it was like a huge parcel from Mecca. So I'm going to put that in now. It's like from the past, but I think you guys will like it because it was unboxing all the 20th birthday stuff. So I'll put that in now. How cool are these boxes? So bright. So we've got two in here from Mecca. Nars Velvet Glide Lip Set. You can like see me. Hey! Mario Badescu Skincare. I love me a good hydrating mask. Why is it not focusing? There we go. <gasps> Kevin Aquan. Exciting. The Making Faces beauty book. Mika turns 20 this year. Happy birthday to us. Thank you for sharing the journey. So it's got a spoolie, a brow pencil, and a tweezer, and they're all mini size. I already have frog prints, so I'll have to give that to a friend, but I don't have nude in it. I actually love the frog prints lipstick. It's the one that's green and then it changes pink. Little glam glow set of tubes. Wow, this is so much stuff. What the heck? Buy hourglass, but it says Mika 20, so there must be some sort of limited edition sets because it's their birthday. Stealer for Mecca. It's just like a lot of best sellers. And then we have some Nars Audacious lipsticks. I wonder if this is a permanent palette or if it's literally just made for Mecca. Okay, I'm gonna open these all up in a second. And lastly, we have a Frank body scrub. Oh, they're like magnetic too. This is such nice quality. We've got a sculptor highlighter in a bronze shade. Those look amazing. That one is so cool. Is in cool toned, <laughs> but also cool. Yeah, they magnet together. I would not use the navy, but the other two I would definitely use. The last one is more eyeshadows. This is just gonna make me hungry. How delicious does that look? I would love to know if this is a Mecca exclusive palette. I'm guessing it must be. That is so cool. In the mirror is a little heart. It feels like such nice quality. <laughs> hey, looking thick there. So bouge, I love it. I literally wanna take this clubbing with me as a clutch. And I will do it too. No shame. These colors are amazing. So we have Luminous Light and Luminous Bronze Light, which are permanent, and then Mecca Birthday Glow is the blush. I guess it's like a corally color to kind of go with the theme, you know? Now I'm going to open this because I want to see what the nude color is like. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. Got love and I know that it's all my own. Oh, whoa. Take me away. I'll take a place. It's just like a creamy sort of lipstick. In the bathroom, <laughs> so glamorous. Hey. I'm just gonna vlog my makeup before we go. I'm wearing NYX Cairo, but just for a little bit of color. I think it's really overexposed. I put on Bite of Georgia. This is one of the new Lip Tensity lipsticks. I'm obsessed with this color. It's so coral and pretty. I'm wearing some of the Esquido lashes. I'm so scared. This is like, I'm scared I'm gonna drop my camera off the edge. Earrings are just slow visa. I've just got my hair in like a high pony. And I will show you the outfit in a second. But yeah, and my foundation is the CoverGirl Stay Luminous. I think that's what it's called. Right, I have food in my teeth. So yeah, we're just heading off to the event. Sorry, I haven't vlogged this afternoon. Um, one of my family members is really unwell. So I went to go visit her and Brit, I felt kind of bad. I told you Brit at the hotel. But yeah, she, the family member is like not gonna get better. So we went, had a good cry, like saw them. Kind of sad, but you know, these things happen in life, so I'm not gonna gloss over and pretend everything's all perfect. But anyway, we just had some wines, we got ready, and yeah, I'm feeling a lot happier now being here with Brett 
and we're excited for the event. I'm excited to see everybody. We're gonna get dinner with Liv and some other friends after the event. So Britt's like holding the camera for me right now, but this jacket is from Shopo. I do have a clothing haul going up where I haul this, but I don't know if it'll be up before this. So I'm wearing that and then just a pink chiffon top and like a bralette thing from Cotton On. I'm wearing this lace up skirt, which is from, I don't remember. And then these boots are from, um, misguided and they're so cute they remind me of Gucci some of the snakes and they're just like pointy toes so yeah that is my outfit oh and clutch is deadly ponies Woo! Just, oh did you guys it like it her out. necklace it's her b-day present what a bad bitch with a name necklace I love it <laughs> now I want one I'm jealous it's <laughs> walking in now <laughs> Do you want to be in my vlog Rooney? Yes. Look who it is! Love, love, subscribe down below. Oh yeah, please do. Click that like button. Wait, no, that's on my video. <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah, we may have had quite a few drinks at the Lush event. Oh, hello. You're just, hey, yeah. just Snapchatting me vlogging, like, as you do. Yeah, Liv's like, Linda. we need dessert before we go back to the hotel. <laughs> so we're going to chocolate boutique. Sorry to my trainer, but you know that I love chocolates and no regrets. I'm so happy. I came here with Chris and Michael and we got fondue and it was so good. I'm excited so to have fondue fun. again. It is so pretty. I feel like so festive right now. See your panda pants in my lounge room. Yeah, we don't need to ever bring that up again. That's so beautiful. Panda pants, hip thrusting. Girl, you look so good. Mm. Got that sauce. Did I do it? Am I okay? <laughs> Liv just said, if you didn't gram it, did you even eat it? No, you didn't. That's the answer. We're just waiting outside the coop store right now. Look at these hours, guys. 9.30. That's what time it is now. We're like, let us in. It keeps raining. This is Britoma. It's so pretty. Bad day to wear my furry shoes. <laughs> They're getting so wet. We're going inside to take cover. By the way, I forgot to say earlier, but we're just killing some time before our airport transfer comes. So we're just having a little bit of a shop around. Oh my gosh, I forgot two bagels here. Oh. <laughs> Should I buy another wallet? Low key tempted. Look how beautiful this stuff is. <laughs> I feel like the colors aren't showing up accurately, but I want this bag. Oh, I want it so much. It's so Barbie. You guys, I'm in love with this denim jacket, but I already have like two denim jackets. So I feel like I can't justify it, but look how cool the collar is. I used to have something when I was like nine, completely this fabric. <laughs> I want it. It's so cute. What do you think, Brett? Yes or no? She thinks yes. I think I need it. No regrets. I've never tried these before. Look how beautiful. I feel like Homer Simpson. I'm gonna eat it on the plane. We all got donuts to try. Just made it back home. I'm so happy that we got in. It's super, super windy today. While I was gone overnight, all this mail came. So I'll show you guys what is in the mail in a second. I think a couple of these things I bought, it's not all PR, like that NZ Muscles, just some protein. And then I'll also show you what I bought at Sylvia Park Mall today. From Zara, I just got a pair of shoes. I don't have that many flat shoes. I pretty much only wear like gym shoes or slides. So these are just a nice, more dressy option to have. And I also picked up the leopard jacket, had to do it. And then from H&M, I got a lot of workout clothes. The steal of the day was this pink hoodie. You can't really see it, but it was $10. Excuse my office, it's a mess because I just filmed right before I went away. But this was a $10 hoodie. It is so damn comfortable. It's got like fleece. I feel so snuggled right now. I just want to get into bed. It's like bra off. Like it's fleecy on the inside. It's a great time. So this was 10 bucks. Like what on earth? It's got a little pocket and everything and a hood. Good time. So I had to get this from H&M. Then I got a workout singlet. I like this color again. It's not, I guess it is an obnoxious pink. I don't know. I just like this shade of pink. Little shorts here. I thought they were really cute. Um, to wear to the gym obviously and you could also just wear them, you know, like leisure wear 
Is that a word? I don't know, but it has rose gold on the side and like a baby pink. And it just, again, is from the H&M Sport line. This is why I was happy to give them my money because I don't like spending a lot on activewear. It's $15, you know? Oh, and I also got this top here and I couldn't find this in a small either. So I got a medium. Um, but the elastic band is quite like thick, so I'm hoping it'll just sit on me nicely. Maybe the small would have like cut in, I'm not sure. And how cool is that? Like with some high-waisted leggings, I liked the band detailing. It just says forget the rules, which as far as like quotes go, it's not too cheesy. <laughs> so that is the active wear I picked up. That's all I got from H&M. And then this hoodie. God, my lips are dry. Yeah, um, my makeup is really weird. I'm just wearing a foundation and mascara and that's it. Like my eyebrows are like foundationed over. <laughs> we had like not very long to get ready this morning. So yeah, if you're wondering why my face looks a little unusual, that is why. So I don't know what this is. It's not from Piado, I'm pretty sure. So I think it's something I might've bought. Oh, it's something from makeup.co.nz. It's very sweet. I can see it's from, um, Oh my gosh, Claire has sent me the Jeffree Star mini bundle. So many of you guys have tagged me in this on Twitter and Instagram and stuff being like, look Sally, because you know I love mini things. Um, and yes, I was like so excited for this to come in stock. I could use some of this today. Let me tell you guys that. We got breakfast at the store in Brigham Up. And it was so good this morning. I should have vlogged it. I was just so excited to eat my food and I got like a cold pressed juice and it healed me. Oh, wow, that is so pretty. It's like a gradient box. If you guys seen too, he's coming out with a family one and it's the name of all their dogs and like his partner and it's in a house shaped box. He really knows how to rake in those sales, making it cute. Um, so this is a range of the best selling nudes and then I think there was a bullet lipstick that they've like made into a liquid lipstick for this collection. So here's all the shades there if you guys wish to pause the video. There they are. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Like the Dior lip balm I just used, look. These are small, they are so small. I'm gonna take them out because maybe I'll do a little Instagram or something showing them off and I do actually really enjoy wearing a lot of these nudes when I go out clubbing or out for dinner So it's so nice isn't it to have a little one that you just like pop in your bag So exciting! I was not expecting that in the post. Oh Rebel Sport. I did buy this I recently forked out as I was just saying I don't like to spend big on active wear Especially because I'm often like in between sizes um, Some of the leggings I bought before I started the gym, it's way too big for me now. But yeah, I got some Gymshark leggings and they are so comfy. The only thing is that they, like here's my pelvis and here's my belly button and they only come up to like here. They are not high waisted at all, unfortunately, which is not as flattering of a cut as I would like, but they're super comfy. So I still have no regrets. And the um, colored pair I got are like a gray and a baby pink. So I thought that I'd grab this top, which was on special. Could tie it up with a little knot or just wear it over the leggings. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good now about going to the gym again because I was feeling really crappy. It's so stupid and materialistic, but all the clothes I had to the gym were just so ugly and I like didn't even like rolling up to the gym in them. I was like, oh. if you're wearing clothes that you like, you're gonna be feeling yourself. You're gonna like work out harder. That's what I like to tell myself at USF. Yeah. Got this top. It's been a bit of a spendy few weeks. I need to like calm the farm with my shopping. Or do I? This is definitely PR. Yeah, it's from L'Oreal. But what brand will it be? That's the question. It could be Lancome, it could be Kiehl's, it could be YSL. Only time will tell. Giorgio Armani. Ooh, that's a rarity. Okay, I would not guess that. I would not put money on that. Wow, is there a note? No. Oh, we've got a Giorgio Armani ribbon. I love their um, bags. It reminds me of Louboutin. It's like red on the inside, black on the outside. Very bouge. Got some tissue paper. Have a guess. Let me know in the comments what you think it is. And see if anybody's right. My guess was a fragrance, but. Oh, it is! Oh, I love this one. I've smelled this a lot of times in Duty Free. But this might be a new one. Oh yeah, it is. Maybe? 
Nacre edition. It's reinvented with deep black currant nectar, airy florals, and musky blonde wood. So it is a reinvention of C. I'm guessing it's limited edition. Oh my word. So they've sent me the 100 mil, which is 225. Whoo! She is not cheap. A sister is expensive. <laughs> she knows her worth. Okay, let's have a little sniff. I've been really spoiled with fragrances lately. My go to has still been the YSL Monterey and um, the La Vie is fell. Is it like Eclair or something? Those are my two favorites at the moment. Oh, there's shimmers in it. That is so, so beautiful. Wow. I feel like it's Christmas right now. This is beautiful. Wow. Check that out. I won't lie to you guys. Um, I hope I don't get in trouble for saying so. <laughs> this smells absolutely identical to Always Red from Elizabeth Arden. It's more like $60 to $80 for a bottle. This is like $220. Undoubtedly, it's stunning. Like a beautiful, luxurious present. I mean, you probably get a little bit more fluid in this, so I don't know, like I would definitely buy something like this. I could not deny. But if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, like it smells identical. I doubt they'll watch this, but if you are, thank you so much for sending it to me. And I'm sorry for listing a cheaper dupe, but I gotta look after all my girls, you know? Some of us will want this one. Some of us will want a cheaper dupe. It's just how it is. I wonder what this is. They send all sorts of exciting goodies, the generalist PR. You just never know what it's gonna be. Oh, cool. Wow, this is so creepy because I just mentioned this brand in a monthly favorites. My first thought then was, Maybe they saw it, but that video isn't up yet. It's still like saved in my uploads to go live at a later date. That's so creepy. I love this brand. I use their um, Split End Recovery Serum. It's what I put on my ends and it makes my hair grow so fast. Oh my gosh, beautifying hair perfume. Smells like freesia. You put it in your hair to make it smell good. Interesting. Protecting against unpleasant odors during the day. Like, should you not just wash your hair? Although in saying that, I've got like two days worth of dry shampoo in my hair, so <laughs> maybe it's the perfect product for me. It says to spray on dry hair and leave in. I'll definitely give this a go. Thank you guys for sending to me. It's quite interesting. I like actually when brands come out with something new. Like, I've never heard of that before. It's not just another dry shampoo or something. Um, oh, and this different, you can get different fragrances too, which is very interesting like proper package that I'm not gonna open because it's just banana protein powder <laughs> that I bought for me and Tana. The deal was he fills the car up with petrol and I buy the protein. But that was my offer and it was like such a bad deal. This is why I can't do maths. Because to fill up my car it's like $60 because it's so small. <laughs> and then that protein was like 120 So I totally duped myself there. Hello Mavis. Hello. Oh my gosh, this is my costume for Halloween. Okay, do you guys have a sneak peek? So me and Tama are doing a couple's costume. I know, amazing. <laughs> I feel like most of you are like cheesy AF, but I think it's freaking amazing. Like this is the sole purpose of having a boyfriend, right? So you can do a couple's costume, like I think so. We're Game of Thrones fans. So we figured this is probably like the last year at least for a few years that you could do like a Game of Thrones themed costume because next year it's like not relevant. So we're gonna be Khaleesi and Khal Drogo. So yeah, here is my Khaleesi costume. I'm kind of bummed because all the costume ideas for her were so ugly. This was like the cutest one I could get. Like I wish it was more ho, like shorter. Because I like to go full ho on Halloween, but it's okay. I'm gonna do like my clip and extensions and everything. It's gonna be so cool, but it turns out I'm probably gonna be working that day. I'm gonna do like a whole to like someone's staff team all their Halloween makeup that day, and then I have to do get myself ready as Khaleesi and also do Carl Drogo makeup on Thomas. So it's gonna be a busy day, but I'm glad this came in time because it said estimated arrival the 20th to the 30th of October, which I bought it being like sweet, that'll still get to me before Halloween. But then I realized the Halloween party that we're going to is the 28th, so I was like. What have I done? But no, it came today. It's like the 11th of October, so hooray! You guys have to double tap my photo once I dress as this, okay? And write that you're from my vlog. Be like, I supported you from the beginning. I knew this costume would come together. Now I've got to make it work. Like, I should probably try that on before I even mention it, because what if it's like 
those like what do you ordered versus when it arrives things like it could be disgusting it could be anyway that is the end of my vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it um next few days i'm just gonna be doing some editing cleaning nothing much exciting so i may as well just wrap up the vlog now i don't know if this is gonna be a long vlog or a short vlog because i haven't really had time to to edit it yet but yeah it is pissing down outside so it's nice editing with it <laughs> nice with it to edit a video um yeah thumbs up for my sperm shaped eyebrows with foundation on them and subscribe if you like vlogs do i have my fancy button i got this cool button thing so um yeah i love you guys and i will talk to you again soon bye